So Sheila, kind of a follow up from our previous conversation in terms of resume, which we talked about in depth. So for the audience watching for the first time, please check the other videos. So we know that resumes is a key to get an interview. And again, in your book, you talk about the interview process yeah. and your book hit the Amazon best selling list in both Canada and US within the first 24 hours of being released. And you also released the second edition, which also hits number one in the resume category in just over three hours of being released. So this is a very important resource, guys. So in terms of interview, how they should be prepared. I tell my students, read about the company on their website, social platforms, research the interviewer or the hiring manager, either on LinkedIn, so that if there's anything common, so kind of mm -hmm. an iceberg, uh, kind of an iceberg questions, you know. And again, what question they should ask at the end? Okay, very good. Absolutely. So there's a couple of really good questions in there. So number one on how to prepare. Yes. So absolutely, you want to research the company, the person that you are interviewing with. That I want to where where I think I can add some some insight is mm -hmm. on what individually you do need to do to prepare. Yes. And I remember sitting in this very chair seven years ago, writing the writing the interview chapter. And I thought, what am I going to write about? Because why do people find interviews so difficult when they're so easy? Yeah. And then a big aha hit. And here was the big aha. Mm -hmm. When a hiring manager asks you about every one of your, your jobs, what they're actually looking for are the answer to five questions. But the crazy thing, they don't ask them. They just say, tell me about and your job. Time. Yes. Yeah, tell me, well, not the behavioral ones, but each job, tell me about each of your jobs. Mm -hmm. Well, here's the crazy thing. What they're actually looking for when uh, to learn about each job is what level did you report to? Very, very, very briefly, succinctly, what is or was your job? How many other people did what you did? And what was your scope? Which should sound familiar because it's the two, it's step one of the two step resume you formula. Previous video. Yes. Right. So if you write, take the time to write your resume based on that formula, well, you've already got a platform, a script to deliver a beautiful interview. Mm -hmm. So then the, then the next question is, well, how? The very, the part you cannot miss in interview prep is rehearsing out loud. Yes. So rehearse out loud, answering the inevitable question, which is, walk me through, tell me about each of your jobs, walk me through your resume or bring your resume to life. Two things happen when, when people are faced with that question. One, they panic and want to get off that question as fast as humanly possible. Don't do that. Or they go into such incredible granular detail about every one of their jobs that the interviewer is just bored to tears because they're talking about things that aren't really interesting. Now, a good interviewer will get the candidate back on track again, but that's not always the case. Yeah. So with the two-step resume formula, it makes you be very brief very, mm -hmm. very brief in describing your job. So walk through reporting to I'm accountable for how many other people did. And then a trick you can say in an interview is, mm -hmm. as you can see from my resume, which will automatically make the interviewer make look down, down, you'll break eye contact, which for it, it, let's face it, interviewer interviews are a bit nerve wracking. So yes. of course that's going to break the eye contact. You can breathe as the as the <laughs> being in the interviewer hot seat, and then then you, you be prepared to talk about what the manager is seeing on your resume. Yes. So the the key is work once you create the two step resume formula, mm -hmm. rehearse out loud. Rehearse out loud. The reason is it commits everything to your short term memory. In a pressure situation, such as an interview, chances are when you walk in, your blood pressure is going to go up. And it yeah. may go up even higher if all of a sudden I've invited three other people to join the interview. <laughs> your heart's going to be beating out of your chest. Yeah. So the best thing to do, if you've prepared what you're going to say out loud, everything is going to be sitting in your short-term memory. Your short-term memory in a pressure situation will never fail you. Mm -hmm. You will have memory recall like you will not believe. You'll be thinking to yourself, where is this coming from? Because I am so nervous. But if you don't rehearse out loud, everything sits in your long-term memory. Your long-term memory in a pressure situation will fail you. And then when you hear yourself say, gosh, 
a year ago. What was I doing a year ago? That was a really long time ago. I can't remember. The minute you say, I can't remember it, the interview's done because you've just said you have a, you have a lousy memory and yeah. that's not good. So rehearse. And I always say to the candidates I coach rehearse out loud until it's smooth mm -hmm. and listen for when you're like, Oh, that didn't sound good. Keep rehearsing. So this isn't a rehearse out loud once it's over and over and over again and end before every single interview. Yes. And what questions at the end they should ask? Because it's important to ask a question. Yes. If you go without a question, that's already a red flag uh, for a lot yes. of people. So what they should ask, is it about salary, training, uh, what they're Could looking be. for, uh, what is the expectation in the first 30, 60, 90 days, what they should Those ask? are good. Yeah, so those parts. So being naturally curious more about the organization and the role definitely go with those questions as mm -hmm. you said 30 60 90 days training plan what are the biggest challenges why is the role open stay away of the default questions which in my book I, you you there's default questions what's the salary what are the benefits how many weeks vacation those are default questions and every unprepared job candidate will ask those questions. You don't want to look like every other candidate. So those questions will, of course, get answered in due course, but don't lead with them. The other tip, write down your, your end of interview questions. You don't have to memorize them. There's enough to, to keep in your, in your mind as you're going through the interview. Write your interview questions down and bring them with you. Those are great tips, Sheila. Thank you very much. Again, for the audience watching or listening, if you have any other tips in terms of interview preparation, leave them below. And tune in next time for another great question with Sheila.